In August 2007, the vessel LNG Abuja entered the estuary of Ferro. The characteristic silhouette of the domes of its moss tanks are a reminder of the presence of LNG Edo at the installations of Navantia less than one year earlier, when its reduction gears underwent extensive repair work. Once again, the shipowner Nigerian LNG has entrusted Navantia ship repairs to carry out the delicate task of completely changing the reduction gears, as well as carrying out a complete inspection of the high and low pressure turbines which make up the propulsion group of the LNG Abuja. Once the vessel was moored, work began on dismantling the reduction gears in which the highly qualified turbine, outfitting and maneuvering personnel of Navantia worked side by side with the inspectors and crew of the vessel. While this work was underway, the new gears arrived and were transported to the workshop, where they underwent the necessary verification procedures prior to their installation. On board, by now work had begun on removing the first and second stage reduction gears from the vessel. with the dismantling procedure ending with the removal of the main gear, weighing 36 tonnes. Meanwhile, an overhaul was carried out on the high and low pressure turbines, dismantling their rotors and transporting them to the workshop. where apart from the normal cleaning, calibration and balancing work, their bearings will then be re-metalized and machined. Other maintenance and modernization work, such as retubing the superheaters and renewing the boiler collectors, renovating the CO2 firefighting system and inspecting the phone flooding system, are overshadowed by the sheer size of this work. Special mention should also be made of the inspection and renewal of pumps for different services. The renovation of the boiler ignition control system. The engine control system. And the refurbishment of the cargo control. The removal operations also included the cargo pumps and other auxiliary propulsion elements which were transported to the workshop for inspection and checking, together with many other elements from the vessel's different systems. After checking and support, the new main gear is inserted into the engine room. And fitted in position over which the whole reduction gear system will once again be connected. Once work is complete in the workshop, the installation of the propulsion turbines begins.
work also continues on assembling the new first and second stage gears. And as an additional task, on performing the runout of the main gear, it was discovered that the vessel's shaft line was misaligned. The repairs program was immediately adjusted to resolve this contingency, ensuring it had the minimum possible impact on the total delivery time. Due to the extensive machinery work that had to be carried out on each of the shafts in its line, it was decided to carry out two successive dock periods in order to optimize the repair delivery time. In the first dock period, the shafts were removed and the scope of the repair work on the line was defined. with repair work in the workshop beginning immediately. Also in this first docking, work continued on renewing the gears on board the vessel. And part of the normal dock work was carried out. The Abuja then returned to the repair berth. Where the final stages of assembling the turbines and reduction gears were carried out. We would highlight the contrast between the large dimensions of the parts being manipulated and the precision required in the work, in which tolerances of plus or minus 1.5 tenths of a millimeter up to 5 thousandths of an inch are the norm. The work on machining the shafts is complete. The vessel returned to the dock. where the stern tube bearings were renewed. Followed by the mounting of the shaft line. in turn completing the dock work. <laughs> including the treatment of the propeller with silicon-based paint.
With the vessel back at the berth, the shafts were rationally aligned, inspections of the different systems were made, and trials alongside berth were carried out. The repair work culminates with a departure for sea trials, where, in line with the client's requirements, all the operating parameters of the propulsion plant were satisfactorily contrasted with those of a new unit. And so, after four months of work, the repairs on the vessel were completed, adding yet another success to the expertise of the Vantia Ship Repairs Federal Estuary, and in particular to that of its professionals who on a daily basis maintain its position as a leading reference in worldwide ship repairs.